And now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Plenty of sunshine and winds somewhat out of the south allowed our temperatures to warm into the low and even mid-90s this afternoon. 92 was a very popular number. Huntsville International, Athens, and Decatur all saw highs today of 92 degrees. 91 was the high in Scottsboro. Fort Payne also saw 92. Arab, Albertville, Florence, the warmer spots today. You made it into the mid-90s. You saw highs right around 95 degrees. This was our ninth consecutive day where the temperature was at least 90 degrees at Huntsville International, our 16th day overall in the month of July. Now on paper, it really doesn't look that impressive, but when you think about the slow start that we had to summer across the Tennessee Valley, it suddenly looks a little more impressive. It was a beautiful evening over Cedar Creek Lake over in Franklin County. Thanks to Vicki for sending me this fantastic weather photo. If you'd like to send me your weather photo, you can text it. That's what Vicky did. The number's right there on your screen, 256-382-2692. Text me your weather photo. You might just find it right here on WZDX News. Pinpoint Viper is looking nice and quiet this evening, and with the exception of a stray isolated shower, I'm pretty confident it's going to stay that way through the overnight. But by the time we get to the lunch hour, things are going to begin to change Friday afternoon. An increase in cloud cover, a few scattered showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms are possible, and this will be our theme through the heart of the afternoon and even as we get into the early part of the evening, 5, 6, 7 o'clock at night, Futurecast still picking up on a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms. It also attempts to bring some activity through northeast Alabama during the early part of the overnight, very, very early into Saturday morning. But then by 8, 9 o'clock on Saturday, actually talking about plenty of sunshine. But then it's a rinse and repeat process. The cloud cover and the scattered showers move back in by the lunch hour, and they'll stick with us in some capacity through the later part of Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. There are other opportunities for rain in the forecast through Sunday and Monday. Better opportunities for rain once we get to Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That is directly correlated to some lower high temperatures. Highs Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week only climbing into the mid and upper 80s. Off to the Gulf of Mexico we go, where we're talking about Tropical Depression 8. Has sustained winds right around 35 miles per hour. Does look like it could strengthen into a tropical storm before making landfall somewhere along the Texas coast Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon. If it gets a name, it would become Hannah, our eighth named storm of the season. Not even August yet. We've also got Gonzalo hanging out in the Atlantic Ocean a little stronger. Currently has sustained winds of 60 miles per hour. Gonzalo is going to continue to push west over the next couple of days, actually strengthening into a Category 1 hurricane until it hits the Lesser Antilles and then gets into the Caribbean. Looks like Gonzalo is going to weaken a little bit back into a tropical storm. We warm up tomorrow afternoon with a fair amount of sunshine and isolated storm as possible. Still have got a high right around 90 degrees. Heat indices right around 101. You can go watch the Sandlot tomorrow evening at Toyota Field. I'm thinking about calling in sick myself. 82 by 7 o'clock, 79 by 9. I believe the movie starts around 7. Don't quote me on that. An isolated shower is possible, but overall I think we'll be dry. Have a good look at the next seven days. Not a bad weekend. Scattered showers are possible. 91 on Saturday, 90 on Sunday, 91 on Monday. Lows at night continue to stay a bit above average, only dropping into the lower 70s. Connor. Jordan, you can't announce your calling this. <laughs> I already put it on Twitter. Well. And the trash pandas said they'd write me a note. Okay. I'm sure our boss will love to hear that. I'm Jordan. sure she would. <laughs> well, here's a look at what's coming up in sports.